Yobert, people. Malik Yobert. Did you guys see the Breakfast Club interview? Did you see the Breakfast Club interview? I seen parts of it. Man. I ain't matter of fact, I didn't even see parts of it. I just heard um Yeah, I think you showed me a part of it and I think I seen another part of it. But I mostly heard Charlemagne and DJ Envy kinda like what the hell did we just go through? Yes. Like the They thing- didn't say that, but the way that they were talking it was like You you what? you know, you know with yeah, with LBGT community, with lesbians, gays, queers, okay, I get them a little bit. Transgenders, I don't get it all. Because you know what transgenders are doing? Transgenders are just out here campaigning for penis, bro. And they trying to rearrange words, create new ones. And that is the thing. Talking like, about that, that right there is the like who? Cause then they that was the thing that like, Charlemagne them like what like what a cause then DJ Envy was like yo what are you and he was like huh oh I'm a cis heterosexual some and he yeah. was like man I don't know what the hell they talking about yeah because and they, they like, just trying to rearrange stuff like what it is cis what it is like yeah. I know what heterosexual is and. Oh, that, but I'm like, what is this cis thing? What is the other thing? It's yeah, like, cisgender. Why are you see, throwing this in here, man? See, what cisgender is supposed to mean, cisgender is supposed to mean that you prescribe to the gender that your doctor gave you. My doctor didn't give me a penis. I was born a boy. I was born a boy. <laughs> you. Like, what are you talking about? But see, these are the same people, though, that would come back and say that you can't call them a transsexual. You can't call me a man. You got to call me a woman. But they can tell us what we are. That we are prescribing to a gender that the doctor gave us. No. We was born men. Women was born women. And see, what you see from them, though, is a lot of pedophile talk, man. This is what pedophiles do. Pedophile used to go around telling little boys that, hey, it really don't matter between a woman and a man. I can do the same thing for you that a man, a woman can do. They mess with people's brains. And that's what you see transgenders are doing. They out here just campaigning for penis and trying to shame people that don't want to have sex with them. And it doesn't make any sense. Like one of the dudes on there, he going to say, um, we got to stop being so fascinated about penis. Penis don't mean nothing. That's what you campaigning for. You sleep with dudes. That's what you campaigning for. He's talking about, no, we should be attracted to people because of spirituality and all of this. Then, then why y'all can't go sleep with gay dudes? Same spirituality. Yeah. Why you can't sleep with gay dudes then? Like, that was and see, like, that and this was... is my whole thing with them, right? When you watch them with transgenders, is that transgenders, they don't like gay men. They like straight men. And these people don't want to accept their life. That when you decide that you want to be transgender, they decided to be transgender because they wanted to be a woman. And they got so locked in on being a woman, but they didn't understand, well, what is it about women that men like? Vaginas. Vaginas. That's what men like. Vaginas. Then they said, well, men just need to get over this penis thing. What? That's a big thing. That's a big thing to get over. Like Then you sitting up here and you talking about but no, also, men giving up children. Men want to have children with kids that look like them. You can't give them that. They're, and also, like, like I, I, they're not like. Okay, you feel that you are a woman, and so you go and get this procedure done. Uh, Feelings, that's the problem. Feelings do not trump science. 
No, you and know. they trying to tell people to. No, play. but what I was gonna say was that yeah, okay, you can feel that you're a woman, so you're gonna get the, the surgery done, and, and and you say, yeah, I'm a woman now. But when you, like I said, every time when I when a dude, straight dude, go to your your mama house and he see a picture and he like, oh, that's your little brother, and you say, no, that me. You ain't if you ain't telling that person like. Okay, you feel that you're a woman, but if that other person is saying you were born a boy and you trying to tell me you're a woman, no, man, you're a boy. Look here, man, feelings lie. It's men out there, women out there who feel that they in love with somebody and then they find out the person is cheating on them and never really took them serious. Yeah, feelings lie. Science don't. And what those people are trying to do is get us to not believe in science. Been He's out there while. trying to switch words, right? See, he know Malik Yarbrough know that the words coming out of the closet, coming out, is terminology that is normally used surrounding gay people. So when they were like, yeah, so Malik, when he came out, no, I stepped up. I stepped up. No, you didn't step up. You didn't step, step up. up for, for what? Yeah, he told me I stepped up. No, and see what Malik, he's talking about, he a cis heterosexual man. See, he's trying to buy in. He's trying to buy into the fact that these are women, and he just happened to be attracted to women with penises. That's what he's trying to tell you. No, no partner, you like sucking peen. But it did That's know. what your problem is. And see, but this that is, is and see, a big and see, thing. Like, and see, like you and, and can't see, be a woman and you have a penis. Yes, but see, this is the thing. This is the problem with this. See, with guys like him, see, all of these transgenders, they sit around and they now try to... Hold on, wait a minute. I'm going to make a point. Sexual, but, uh, all that stuff is stupid. But, they, this is the people just trying to rewrite history and rewrite science, man. All that stuff is stupid. They just coming out here... Blabbing out stuff that makes no sense whatsoever, and this shit has to stop. See, with him, transgenders sit around and they blame scrape men. But scrape men is not the problem. Who is the problem is people like Malik Yobert. And let me tell you why he's the problem. See, Malik Yobert don't have any conviction behind himself. He doesn't have the courage to be who he is. So guys like him stay in the closet sleeping with transgenders in the dark and they end up harming transgenders because of that. But they come around and blame it on straight men picking on them. Well, guess what, Malik Yober? All of those transgenders that you were sleeping with, they had the courage to come out. All of the gay people, they had the courage to come out. You the one who's chose to stay in the closet because you could not face the reality of, of America. Mm -hmm. You was too busy worrying about what other people thought about you. And see, would, um... and see, the problem also with him is that he don't only hurt the gay community, right? Because he hurt the gay, he hurt the transgender community because one, he's in the closet and he won't come out so they don't have any dating partners, somebody they feel that they can marry and do all this stuff with. But he also hurt them because the guys like him hurt them because they end up killing them. But then, with all of this craziness, these women think that the people who sleeping with them is straight. Malik Yoba is not a straight man. He over there playing mind game with himself still. He still don't have the courage of his conviction. Because if he did, he would just say, no, nah, man, I'm attracted to men. And he said, well, I'm not attracted to men. No, you attracted to men who look like women. Still attracted to men. He's trying to say, well, I'm not as attracted to men who are muscular and, 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 and you know, who play football and basketball and, 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 and lift weights and stuff. I'm not attracted to a muscle build. But you're still attracted to women. I mean, attracted to men. They just have makeup on. And see, he still don't have the courage. And see, this is what, instead of them trying to get these guys and see, transgenders, they run into a problem because they want to fool themselves, too, and saying that they attracted to straight men. No, if a man sleep with a transgender, he gay. 
So all of them are playing mind games with themselves. Men who are like Malik Yolbert and transgenders are both playing mind games with themselves. But they out here just campaigning for penis and trying to get men to see no difference between women and men. And they are differences. They are differences between men and women. And then they talking about, well, women, it ain't no such thing as natural women. Yes, it is. It's called women who are born with vaginas. Those are natural women. The hell are you talking about? Then the other little retarded boy that was sitting up there talking about bathrooms and stuff. Talking about, see, at home, you have a, a transgender bathroom at home. Huh? And I'm like, what the hell are you talking about, boy? What the hell are you talking about, little gay fellow? No, your bathroom at home is an individual bathroom. One person go in it at a time. When they say they don't want transgenders being in bathrooms, they saying it because you got eight or nine stalls in the bathroom and many people can come in that bathroom. Your, your bathroom is not a transgender bathroom or bathroom where anybody can go in. Only one person can go in that bathroom at a time. The thing that people are worrying about with different with public bathrooms is it eight or nine stalls. And people don't want transgenders, men being in their bathroom, being in the bathroom with little kids. Why? Because any dude can put on a skirt and, and a wig and go into a bathroom and fun the little children and do shit like that to them. Yep. Anybody can throw a, on a wig. But these people done lost their ever-loving mind out here, man, these transgenders. I said, that what they are, tra and see, this is the thing, too, with transgenders. Transgenders' agenda is not so much us. Us. Their agenda is against the future. They're trying to get to our children. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to convince our children that it's no such thing as gender. Hey, uh, and they try and see the thing is too, man, you got to understand that in the United States of America is over 300 million Americans. Transgenders make up 0.01% of Americans. But think about how much energy these people suck out of American society. Think about how much you hear the left wing going to bat for this small, small population. And the stuff that they say make absolutely no sense whatsoever. And they just rearranging words, giving new definitions to words. Just to try to make their case. And what's underneath it all, what's underneath it all is them campaigning for penis. And you can tell what penis they want because they don't talk about this stuff towards white men. It ain't no white men is it, 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 making dudes stay in the closet and all of this stuff. It's always straight men because they out there campaigning for the big Lebowski. That's what they're doing. They can't campaign for the penis, man. Black penis. They want black penis. This is why they go around saying this stuff that they do strictly towards black men. You don't see them aiming at that white man at all. Yeah, the more white man do be out there, be out there when transgender. And be open. At least mine when I be watching. Black dudes do too. When I be watching. Yeah. I, 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 I'm going based off of Jerry Springer. Though. That's mine. Yes. Jerry Springer and then them cover videos of Bobby Valentino. Yeah, but that's what, that's what I'm saying. But see, this is the thing. They don't want these dudes just to sleep with them. They want them dudes to be in a relationship with them. That's what they want. But see, these dudes, though, they so afraid to come out of the closet because these guys are not sure of their sexuality. See, they like women and they like men. But see, it's a difference between what, what, if, what you see from these guys. A lot of these guys have um, a fetishes. They have fetishes towards transgenders. See, they don't want to sleep with transgender. They don't want to marry them. They want to marry women, but they want to sleep with transgenders. And they're being bi bisexual. No, 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 gay. But you just said they want to sleep with women and men. But you see, they, no. they want to hide. See, they want to hide. Malik Yoga was hiding with his wife. Oh, the hell out of me. That's what Malik Yoga is. See, Malik Yoga is out here telling you all of this stuff right now. He's still married to that white woman. And got kids by her too. See, what Malik Yoga was doing with his wife was hiding. 
even though he was out there sleeping with little boys. He was hiding. And so now he want to come out and try to tell you he's a cis heterosexual. Nah, brother, you gay. No, nah, you gay, bro. But all of this stuff is just crazy. Like, that was one crazy interview. And they and they didn't even have their stuff together themselves. They was wrestling over words. They couldn't explain things very well. Because you can't explain things when you're trying to be deceptive. When you're trying to con people. But that's exactly what they was doing. Trying to con people, man. And it got to stop. All right, people, hit that like button, subscribe.